What's going on everyone, it's Bama and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. As you guys can see by the title of the video, we are going to be talking about the 2.7 delay as well as compensation and everything else that's going to be happening in the future. So if you guys could go ahead and like, support the video, it would greatly be appreciated. I am going to be doing a Primo Gym giveaway at 11k subs, so if you guys could do all that, it would definitely be appreciated, but let's get right into the video. I'm sure most of you know right now, unless you're just living under a rock, which I don't think any of you guys are. 2.7 has been delayed and if you don't know why it's been delayed it's because there's a huge lockdown happening in shanghai right now so prayers to everybody out in shanghai especially if you're watching this video and you are from there we're not going to prioritize people's lives over a game so prayers to everybody out in shanghai and please be safe now, I know a lot of you guys are asking, well, what's going to be the compensation for all of this? Hoyoverse actually did post that around every Wednesday, we will be getting compensation for the delay that is currently going on. And one of those things being 400 gems every week, which is amazing. They did say Fragile Resin as well, and Mora, and some other stuff like that. But the main thing we care about is the gems. And in my opinion, it's probably going to be at least three to five weeks for the delay. So that would be around 1,200 to 2,000 gems or so that we could get just from the delay alone not even counting all of our daily stuff as well and they did end up making a new event in the game right now well i shouldn't say new but there is an event in the game right now which you also get gems from that as well so if you guys do have that you're doing your dailies and then you have the five dollar blessing pack you were going to be getting a ton of gems before the actual update comes out and you most likely will have enough to get the character that you want depending on how many gems you actually have now, I know a lot of people are disappointed in this, a lot more people than I really expected because I thought a lot of people would really like to save their gems and have more than they did before, but it turns out a lot of people are very upset, which, you know, I totally get it, man. It is a delay and a lot of people really wanted their character sooner than expected and now it's going to be pushed back even further, which does suck, but for those of you that are saving and you want as many gems as possible, this is a good thing for you. I don't mind it personally because I didn't want to spend more money than I needed to to get Yohan and now I'm most likely going to guaranteed have her by the time she actually releases so that's honestly a good thing for me personally but for a lot of you guys that already have enough for Yohan and you did want her this definitely does suck and there will not be another filler banner they did say that they are going to be extending Ayaka's banner longer than its original run date so for a lot of the Ayaka wanters that maybe didn't have enough to get her before she was going to go away this is definitely your chance to actually get her with it being delayed this game is definitely in a bad state right now because if you reach end game you really have nothing to do you kind of just log in and do your dailies and then you're just done for the day it's a very boring and repetitive thing to do especially on a game you love but have nothing to grind which this is why i've been saying for so long that they need to add an end game mode where we constantly have benefits no matter how much we play it similar to creative mode in fortnite which you know a lot of people actually play creative over the actual fortnite battle royale itself so maybe hoyoverse implement something like that into genshin i don't know but i've been saying for the longest that they need to do that especially for times like this the game is very stale and dry and we have nothing to really do and this is going to be hurting content creators a lot especially myself because we really don't have any new videos to make we're kind of gonna have to think outside of the box and do some creative stuff because there's not anything new in the game happening right now we're just gonna be sitting on a day-to-day -day basis waiting for the update to actually drop and a lot of people are speculating that maybe 2.8 drops with 2.7 which i highly doubt that i don't think hoyaverse would do anything like that but in terms of when it could come out i believe the new event said it ends around june 7th maybe the update comes at june 8th or june 7th as well i'm not sure when it should drop but it probably will be around that time frame so let me know down below are you guys really upset with this or are you happy that you can actually save your gems and get the character that you actually want i know for a lot of you cosmo wonders you're definitely happy about this because boy you are about to have a ton of gems for that drip god we still don't know when exactly he will be coming out but it's going to be very very soon so for a lot of you guys that are you know still saving for cosmo this is your time right now you're guaranteed going to get him most likely by the time that he actually drops and there are other banners being speculated ito should be coming out with shinobu a lot of people are saying that yoimiya might be getting another rerun obviously we have yalan coming up so there are a lot of banners coming up 
and if a lot of you guys are saving this is honestly a win for you personally although i do feel bad for the elan wonders but me i didn't even have all of her artifacts completely done so now i have even more time to finish her by the time she actually drops which i'm not upset but i'm not too happy either it's kind of just a standoff because the game is very very boring and dry right now maybe you guys can let me know some ideas down below what do you think genshin could do during times like this where the game is dry especially for end game users that would still make the game fun because nobody wants to fish i know that's there but nobody's trying to fish we actually want modes in the game that we can constantly play and constantly have benefits which is why they need to implement a mode as soon as possible but that's pretty much going to do it for the video let me know how you guys feel about this maybe give me some ideas anything that i didn't mention in the video but that's going to do it don't forget to like the video and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one